Hey folks, it's Brad here, and we are going to take a look at four, four different products from CMY Cubes today. Um, and we are going to take a look at three different sizes of them. So they come with these carry bags in a box and they are sized to fit. So I guess I'll start off uh, with the one with the fewest sides, six sides. We call that one a cube. It's right here. This is the Mega Cube. Okay, and if you're not familiar with these, they're very fun for seeing. <laughs> We've got the, the changing colors and celebration of all the colors in this. They're very fun for seeing um, how subtractive color works and seeing different shapes in there. And it's really wonderful. Um, and so in the cube, you've got uh, the cyan, magenta, and yellow, and then all the colors that subtractive color can make. Um, like you can see your red up here and stuff like that. Uh, but you don't have any white showing up. Um, so this mega cube is really big. Now let's go for the next one up. Um, and these are, was it 50 centimeters, the, the two inches, 50 millimeters, um, the two inch ones uh, for the next few I have. Um, so we've got uh, the octahedron, and this one, what they call the ether. Um, and before I get too far into it, you probably want to know why you should go with a reputable brand, either CMY Cube or some of the other ones. Look closely at this one here. The blue is quite a bit darker than the cyan in this one. And that actually leads to it looking black when you do the subtractive color. And that, that black is crap. Um, it looks way worse. So, uh, you know, I, I got I got these for free because um, I'm reviewing them in an unbiased way. Um, so definitely go with the brand, either CMY Cube or another one that has the one that looks like the lighter cyan color rather than the darker blue. Okay, so this is the octahedron. They call it the ether, but um, instead of six sides like the cube, this is a, po a regular polyhedron with eight sides. And once you step up from that, then you get these really cool looking shapes in here. And I just love it. And you get sort of the bending and circling and it's, it looks really cool. But the octahedron is two pyramids stuck together by their butts, uh, by the square parts. So it's eight triangles, four on top and four on the bottom, the other side. So very cool. But you see how you start to get a sort of white-ish right there. And I don't really understand how that works yet. Not an expert in the physics of light, just a lover of it. All right, so that's one of them. Next, we're going to move on to, let's see, that one's 20, this one's 12. So dodecahedron. Um, and let's see, what do they call it? I've got it over there. Not the modus, but the uh, mundus, like the world, like Axis Mundi, like a brand of wine I used to work for. Okay, so this is a dodecahedron. So there are 12. It's the dodeca 12 hedron. Um, now you can be a polyhedron without regular sides, but these are all regular. So that means that they have the same shape uh, they have the same length of the lines along each shape, and they're stuck together like this. Really cool to study this stuff. It's very fun. But look at that. See, you can see all those shapes in there and the inner surfaces, and it's just amazing. Really fun. Um, I have these both for knickknacks and for fun photography stuff, and just because I really love light and the play of light, and I've studied philosophy of physics and things like that. Um, not a physicist, but I love to understand how light works as a photographer too. All right, so that is really cool. 12-sided, um, and you can actually see if you were looking at this, see there's one face and then one, two, three, four, five around it, and then the opposite side is symmetrical. So six on one side, six on the other, that's 12. All right, now the last one, 
I ordered the two inch one, the 50 millimeter, but they accidentally sent me the tiny one. So now I have a tiny one to compare. This is the Icos icosahedron um, from the Greek word for 20, icosa, um, or something that sounds relevantly similar. And you can see more of the white in there. I think it has something to do with the internal reflections or something. Um, but even if one side has a certain color, like it, that looks like a yellow to me, when I hold it up with other colors behind it, then it looks sort of whitish in part of that. I think maybe that, cause you can see through there. I don't know, but it's fun, it's different. Um, so this is like a 20 sided die often used in D&D. Uh, &D. So if you're into that, then you might like this one. Um, and this one's cool. It So there are five on this face. And then if we were to turn it around, let's see, to the other side, there's another with five of these triangles. And then there's a strip along the middle with 10 of those triangles. But it's all symmetrical because you could also just turn it that way and start out counting five that way. So anyway, icosahedron, oh, they call it the MOTUS, M-O-T-U-S, because they came up with fun names for it. Really cool. They, while they come with these bags, they don't come with display stands. Um, I got some, some with another one uh, that I use for some of these and the others I just set out. Uh, you don't wanna roll this on the floor though. Uh, you don't wanna get cracked. Now, people mentioned lamination problems. If you look closely, there are some lamination problems. I think it's easier on the cubes to do it than with these um, bigger polyhedronal figures. Um, and there's a little bit of curvature in some of these. Uh, but, you know, for my purposes, like I'm not putting this in some uh, machine to bend light uh, to uh, increase my chances at world domination. So I don't really care. It's just fun. I still like it. Works well. Um, could be slightly better, but I can't really knock it because they, they did a pretty good job. All right. So hopefully this helps you have a good time and enjoy life and, ooh, isn't, look at the fun things you can do and you can see, oh, you can split things in fun ways. Look at us through there. Yay! Okay. All right. Have fun, folks. I hope this showed you everything you need to know to decide which one you like the best. Take care.